Voting for a new parliament is underway in Senegal. Opposition parties are hoping to win enough seats to stop President Macky Sall from holding a majority. They want to block Sall from seeking a third term, which is barred under the Constitution. Senegal is one of Africa's more stable democracies, but there were violent protests in the run-up to the vote. Some voters say they hope the next assembly will do more with its power. I'm hoping for change from the way our National Assembly has worked up until now. We hope that with this new legislature, we have representatives who will take into account the concerns of ordinary people. We realize that our vote is a choice for who we want in the National Assembly as a sort of balance of power. Journalist Maria Goethe Nicolescu is in the Senegalese capital, Dakar. I put it to her that the main issue in this parliamentary vote appears to be the presidential election two years from now. Yes, well, these elections will certainly be an interesting uh, milestone ahead of the presidential election of 2024, which has already uh, caused some controversy. Uh, the opposition is trying to make these elections a show of strength and put pressure on uh, President Macky Sall. Uh, critics have accused him of uh, wanting to run for a third uh, term in 2024, despite uh, the country's uh, two-term uh, limit. The president himself has been very vague on this topic. But but if the opposition manages to gain a majority out of the 165 uh, parliamentary seats, then it hopes that it will put an end to Macky Sall's uh, potential ambitions for a third term. But it also hopes uh, to force the government to cohabitate with uh, the opposition coalitions Yewi Askanui and Walu Senegal, who have joined forces in the hope uh, to reach uh, this uh, majority. Uh, an opposition breakthrough in Parliament could also mean that Macky Sall will appoint a prime minister from the opposition. What their chances are is, uh, so, is unclear so far, especially in the rural areas. But it mm. could be a tight run. In 2019, uh, the main opposition leader, Ousmane Sonko, uh, arrived third in the presidential election. And most recently, in January, uh, the opposition won major cities such as Dakar and Ziegenschach in local elections. Maria, Senegal has uh, been seen as one of Africa's more stable democracies. How much worry is there that this could all be changing? Well, yes, Senegal has um, a good reputation of being among, among the stabler countries politically in Africa, but especially in West Africa. It has a good track record of democratic processes, as well as relatively good uh, press freedom and freedom uh, of expression. Time and again, there have been uh, political tensions. For example, in March 2021, uh, several violent protests erupted after Usman Sonko was accused of rape. And more recently, uh, in June, one protest uh, in support of the opposition uh, turned violent with three people killed and several injured. This came after the Constitutional Court uh, invalidated the list of national candidates for Yewi Askanwi, forcing the party to run with the list of alternates only. Uh, mm. The opposition accused the government of, um, of purposely uh, trying to, to block the opposition, which the government has denied. But things have calmed down in July with a, with a campaign month that unfolded peacefully. Uh, Senegalese, uh, the Senegalese population uh, is expressing increasing frustrations, so things could blow up again, for example, if Macky Sall decides to run for a third term. But no. for now, um, you know, things are calm here in Dakar and according to what we know uh, in the rest of the country as well.